All right, ladies and men, we got the next uh, project on the list. I just finished making a true uh, uh, a slide tray and cleaning the pit in the bottom of the garage right there. And I got to change the oil in the Hemi. So let's do that. That's a 2014 Dodge Charger RT all-wheel drive with the Hemi. It should take uh, 6.9 to 7 quarts with the filter. I do believe it is 520 uh, full synthetic engine oil. I will double check, obviously, before we pour it in there. But right now, we got to go underneath, drain the oil, take the uh, plastic skid plate off. I think there's four bolts holding that plastic skid plate on. I think they're 10 millimeter, if I remember correctly. And then we got to start draining some oil, and then we got to get the filter. Filters right there. Engine oil is right there. So those four bolts were 10 millimeter. Drain plug is 13 millimeters. Get it loose. I'm gonna use a little one. Like that. So here's a drain plug. I already cracked it loose. That's why it's dripping. And the filter is right above it. Right up there. <laughs> nice clean hands. So like I said, I'm not sure if, I don't think all the oil is going to fit in here. So I got to keep my eye on it and then I could drain it and then put the plug back in, obviously, when it gets to start getting full. I'm gonna take that back out in a minute. I just wanna take the filter off, get them both to drain. This is a MicroGuard filter, the brand I'm putting on today. I think it's the same one that's on there. We'll find out in a few minutes, a few seconds here.
Scan uh, 13 millimeter, this is gonna be 20 foot pounds is what the specs are for it. If you wanna get a torque wrench and do it, so that's 20 foot pounds right there. As you can see, the filter is still dripping. Up there. That's where the filter goes. Make sure you don't have a double gasket. Make sure the gasket's off of it, and it is. So I have the new filter right there. I'm gonna take some new oil. I'm gonna fill it up. All right, once it's about three quarters away full, clean finger. I'm gonna put a little on the O-ring that's on here. See the O-ring? I don't wanna tip it, it's gonna dump oil. But there's an O-ring on here. Gotta make sure the old O-ring is not up on the, <laughs> excuse me, up on the engine. And if not, I already wiped it off. Now it's just a matter of taking this one, bottoming it out, and then getting it, I think it's a half turn once it spins on freely by hand. So let's put this up there. Righty tighty. That's bottomed out. Now let's get it tight. Let me give it a little bit. There's a little bit of love with the wrench. Just because my hands are oily. There we go. All right. So that's done. We're going to go up top and we are going to fill it up with uh, full synthetic 520 oil. So this is the dolly I made. Works pretty good. Just need to get a different um, oil pan, I think. I like it. I'm gonna start the car, let it run for a couple seconds, and then I'll check the oil again. I know I'm one quart low. I only put six in. So let's start the car. And I am down there. So I am definitely a quart low. Which I knew I was.
So once you change your oil, you got to reset the computer. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to start the car and it should have an oil indicator. It should say oil change due. There it is, oil change due. So now I got to reset the computer. In order to do that, the car has got to be off. So we'll shut the car off. Take my foot off the brake pedal. And I'm gonna open the door just to reset it, just so it thinks I left. All right, now I'm gonna close it. And then if I remember correctly, I have a push button. So I am going to, without touching the brake pedal, I'm going to turn, hit it twice. One, two, and that puts it in a run position. Now I am going to step on the gas pedal. One, two, three times. And my headlights went off. And then I'm going to hit the key again, hit the button again. Now I'm gonna start the car and let's see if that works. So that should reset the computer. Let's see if it does. No indicator yet. Uh, my camera's dirty. I got grease on it, I'm sorry about that. There we go. All right, so that's how I did it. Um, I, that, the only other thing I gotta do is I gotta put a little oil showing sticker up in my window so I don't forget to change the oil again, just so I know when I did it. But yeah, that's simple. It's uh, hit the, with your foot off the pedal, with your foot off the brake pedal, you hit this twice. It'll go to that run position. And then you hit the gas pedal Without touching the brake, you hit the gas pedal three times to the floor in 10 seconds. So it's, let me get you back on wide angle there. So at the gas pedal, you're gonna go one all the way down, two all the way down, three all the way down, take your foot off the brake, hit that button. It shuts, that shuts the com computer off or basically resets it, but it shuts it off. Then put your foot on the brake, start the truck or start the car. And we're good to go. So oil change is complete. I got 152,000 miles on this car. Best best car I've ever owned. Not the fastest, but it's the best, most reliable. All and it's all-wheel drive. The thing is unstoppable in the snow. Well, see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, hope these help. Let me see if I can back out without falling in the pit. What's good about having a skinny garage door is <laughs> you can't fall off, can't fall through. See, and there's a pit out front. Right there. So it works good. All right, well, see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, throw me some questions and by all means, if you have a, one of those Hemi covers, send me the Hemi cover. Because <laughs> the last garage I brought it to to have a simple oil change done, they stole the Hemi cover. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.